Hey guys, Nikki here, and today I'm going to show you three exercises that you can do to stretch your hip flexors. Stay tuned. All right, so let's get started. Uh, first, real quick, why might we want to stretch the front of our hip? Well, for a lot of us, when we sit for long periods of time, that creates a lot of shortening in the hip flexor and the quad. And so then when we get up to go move or exercise, we don't have as much hip extension available as we could. And that limits our ability to really find or activate our glutes. And it also increases our odds of creating pulling tension or pain through the low back and the hips. So all that you're gonna need to do for this routine is a bolster or a rolled up yoga mat or blanket. So the first I'm gonna show you, you're gonna grab said bolster or yoga mat. You're gonna lie on your back, knees bent, feet flat, and you're gonna put the roller underneath your hips. You're gonna let your hips just settle down onto your bolster or mat, and then you're gonna let both knees come into your chest. So once you're in this position, what you're going to feel like is you're kind of in like an angry Halloween cap position where your back is really round. I want you to keep that. It's gonna give you more opening in your hip. Interlace your fingers around the top of your right shin or underneath your right thigh, up to you. And then keeping that right leg hugged in and the pubic bone rolling towards the ceiling, slowly extend your left leg out. And then once you've reached that left leg out, it may or may not touch the ground, but you should start to feel some decent opening down the front of your hip. So for some of you, this will be quite intense. If you're in that camp, I want you to stay there. But if you're doing okay, continue to hug your leg in with your right arm and then slowly reach your left arm up overhead and then really create oppositional energy reaching through your left leg and your left hand. And that should create even more opening down the front of your hip and quad. You're gonna stay here and breathe for three to five easy breaths and then switch sides. All right, so the second exercise I'm gonna show you, you don't need any equipment, though if you are really tight in the front of your hips and you know that, you may wanna grab a yoga strap or some sort of other band to kind of put around your foot to assist. So for this one, you're gonna come down onto your stomach. You're gonna have your legs touching, or if that's uncomfortable in your low back, just about sit bone distance apart. Your left hand will reach forward and you're going to let your forehead rest down on your left hand. I'm keeping my head up just because I have a mic, but for you, just let your forehead rest down on the ground. So now you're going to gently press your pubic bone towards the floor. So again, you're kind of stabilizing the low back and taking the pull or the arch out of it. You're going to bend your right knee and then you're going to grab your right ankle with your right hand. If you can't do this without extending your back, I would suggest grabbing that strap or towel and putting it around your foot. And then from here, you're just gonna continue to kind of tuck your pelvis under, press your pubic bone towards the floor, and think about letting the knees kind of come in towards one another, and you should start to feel a decent pull down through the top of your right leg. You're gonna stay here for about 30 seconds, and then switch sides. All right, so the third stretch I'm going to show you is a kneeling hip flexor stretch. What you're gonna do is come to kneeling, and you're gonna take your left leg forward, your right leg back. Now, a lot of people, when they do this stretch, it's not an uncommon one, but they tend to just dive directly into it. And you might feel a hip stretch when you do that, but for a lot of us, that creates a lot of pulling in the low back, which isn't so great. So before you go, I actually want you to start by, again, tucking your pelvis under so your pubic bone presses forward, and that's gonna create more opening down the front of your right leg. And then from here, for me, I'm tight enough that I actually feel that alone. You can lean a little bit forward, which will increase your stretch. You can hang here and breathe, or if you want a little bit more, you can take your right arm overhead. Do a gentle lean to the right side, but continue to kind of tuck that pelvis under, finding that little bit of opening in the front of the right hip. You can stay here for about 30 seconds and then switch sides. I hope you found this helpful. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I'd invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel.